everyone welcome back to my channel so today we are doing a super beginner friendly video and we're gonna go in depth on eyeliner and eyelash application I'm going to begin to incorporate these kind of beginner friendly videos throughout my channel because I want to make sure that I'm catering to everyone's needs whether you are someone who is advanced with makeup or you are someone who's trying to learn these techniques in this video I'm gonna show you how you can achieve a wing liner using two different formulas but achieving the same exact results. So grab your notepad, your liner, and your lashes, and let's get into today's tutorial. All right, you guys, so we are zoomed in. So first, let's talk about eyeliner. I know how stressful liner can be coming from someone who does makeup on the daily, who does it professionally, who's been doing it for years. I still have those days where I literally want to freak out and like take all my eye makeup off and just start over because liner can be so unpredictable sometimes. However, if you are patient and you practice, you will be amazed at what you can do. I think when done right, eyeliner can be so beautiful. It can really, really enhance the shape of your eyes and just give you a completely different effect. So I'm gonna begin with my OG, which is my Maybelline Gel Eyeliner. This is my go-to gel eyeliner. I absolutely love it. It's the one I've been using for years. I use it in pretty much all my videos. And I just stand by it because it is ultra, ultra black, which is what I love. And it's super creamy and easy to work with. So that's what I look for in a gel eyeliner. I wanna make sure that it allows me time to kind of move product and create the shape that I want. So when I go ahead and use this gel liner, I like to pair it with either one of these brushes. The three of these brushes are just your basic little paint brushes. They have a super, super fine tip, which is what I look for when creating my liner. And then one of these brushes is an angled brush, which I think is the perfect brush for beginners. Honestly, this will do all the work for you. So if you've never worked with gel liner before, definitely go for an angled brush. Once you've practiced with the angle brush and you've really learned the shape of your eyes and what complements your eyes, you can then look into moving into these kind of brushes, which I think require a little bit more comfort and artistry. So the next kind of liner is your liquid liner. So there are two types and I have two here to show you guys. So one of these is gonna be a felt tipped eyeliner and then this one is going to be a more brush tipped eyeliner. So again, for my beginners out there, I would recommend you begin with a pen liner. These are great because they are super easy to hold. It really does feel like you're holding a pen. With felt tips like this, I find it super easy to just kind of stamp this along the lash line, create your wing because it has that super, super precise tip. It's almost impossible to kind of not get the effect you want. And when shopping for felt tips, I always recommend to do your research and really, really find one that has really good amount of pigment because I find a lot of them don't give you that intense payoff and that's when it can kind of get tricky and you have to keep going over it so again just make sure you're looking into a felt tip eyeliner that has a lot of ink that's really going to give you that effect without you having to go over it multiple times i've mentioned this one in previous videos already and it's honestly my holy grail if you love a black liner definitely look into this one it is the house labs liner from lady gaga's brand another really great option would be the nyx epic ink liner I know it comes in two different types. You want to make sure to get the felt tip one, but I've tried that one out before as well. And it's super, super pigmented and super, super affordable. So because this is a beginner friendly video, I'm going to go ahead and use the two methods that I recommended for my beginners out there. And this is just to give you two different options. Everyone is different. Some people are magic at gel liners. Some people are magic at pens. Some people are magic at both. So it's just a matter of finding what works for you. All right, so we're going to begin with this side of the eye and I'm going to go in with the angled brush that I showed you. So this one is the Morphe M158. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pop this into my gel. And when I do this, I like to really cover up both sides of the brush. So you'll see me kind of just working it back and forth to make sure it is completely saturated. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my brush with the longest edge towards my eye, and I'm going to line it up right with my lower lash line. So I'm just gonna place it right here. So just imagine that your lower lash line keeps going up and that is where your wing should really go. So again, placing my brush right against my lower lash line, I'm going to begin to create an extension 
of that. So again, remember we held our brush like so with the longest tip towards the lower lash line. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna flip my brush and now the longest tip is facing outwards. Your wing is gonna look the most flattering if the very tip of it is almost kind of like feather-like, like fading out. So when you're going to kind of work this inwards, you don't wanna place your brush right at the very end of the wing. You kind of want to place your brush kind of in between here so that this tip stays nice and faded outwards. So now I'm going to go ahead and go in with the brush with the longest edge and place it almost in the middle of that line right there and drag it in all the way. There you go. And as you can see, I kind of made a little boo-boo over here, but it's not a big deal. I'm going to show you how we can go ahead and fix that. But that is it. That was literally the hardest part, guys. So what I'm gonna do now is just dip back into that gel, cover up both ends, and now I'm just gonna go in and really color in that liner and make sure there's no open spaces. All right, so all we have to do now is kind of just tight line against the lash line and really kind of connect this to our waterline. So I'm taking the brush with the longest edge towards us again, and I'm literally just going to stamp this against the lash line. So now I'm using the brush with the longest edge towards the outside, and I'm just going to kind of slightly tug onto my lid. I'm gonna place the angled brush where I begin to see the little divot over here and drag it in. All right guys, so this side is pretty much done. So now I'm gonna show you how I go ahead and really sharpen up my wing and fix any little mistakes that we made. As you can see, there is a little divot over here. So I really, really wanna sharpen that up. So what I'm gonna do is pick up any concealer. This one is the NARS Soft Matte in the shade Creme Brulee. And I'm gonna pick up a definer brush. This one is the Morphe M. 10. It looks like this and it's perfect for cleaning up any little sharp edges So like your liner your lip color anything like that. It's my all-time favorite brush It's definitely replaced my Mac 212 that I used to always rave about so I'm gonna go into my concealer And again, I'm gonna make sure to coat both sides of the brush So what I'm gonna do is I'm literally going to work this right under the wing with a very light hand All right guys, so this side is done. As you can see, we have a perfectly clean wing. So now I'm gonna go in with the House Labs liquid liner on this end using pretty much the same technique. You wanna make sure when you're using this, you're not holding the pen like this. You don't wanna hold it straight because you're not gonna get the amount of color payoff that you need. So you wanna make sure to hold your pen a little bit kind of to an angle almost kind of laying it against your eye, but not completely all the way. So I'm holding the pen a little bit to an angle. And again, using my lower lash line, I'm going to kind of create an extension. Imagine that your lower lash line continues to go outwards. There you go. When you're creating your flick outwards, you wanna make sure to lift pressure off of the brush when you begin to get to the end. So when you're holding your pen, you're applying the pressure to get the color, but as you get to the end, you're lifting pressure off and you get that perfect kind of faded out flick. So now we're gonna bring this in. And again, I don't wanna place my pen at the very end because I wanna keep that nice, sharp, precise tip at the end. So I'm gonna place my pen kind of in the middle of the wing and then drag it inwards. So again, placing it in the middle. now I'm gonna begin to fill in the spaces. The really nice thing about these felt tips is it's super easy to kind of connect to the inner corner of the eyes. You're gonna lay the tip of the pen kind of against the lash line at an angle and you literally just have to tap down until you get to the very front. All right, you guys, so this side of the eye is done. And I'm gonna go back in with my little precision brush and I'm just going to clean 
lighten up the wing. All right, you guys, so our eyeliner is all set. As you can see, we are looking super, super even on both ends. So now we're gonna get into a lash application. Now, when picking your eyelashes, there are so many different kinds out there, but I highly recommend if you are a beginner to pick a lash that has a very, very thin band. So I have a few examples here that I think are really, really great. You can pick them up at the drugstore. The first one here is the Kiss So Wispy Lash Pack. I always find these at Walmart or Ulta, but you'll see these are a beautiful natural eyelash. They're very wispy, very similar to like our natural texture. The band is almost invisible. It is paper thin, guys. This is what I started out with when I got into makeup and I wanted to learn lash application. These are also great to wear without eyeliner. So yeah, so that is one great option. Another one is also by Kiss. These are in the style 10. And again, you can find these anywhere, Walmart, Ulta, Target. So because I have kind of my eyeshadow done and we're doing the whole shebang, I'm gonna go ahead and use my favorite Beauty Creations lashes. And these are in the style I can't even. So when you look at your lashes in the packet, you're gonna see that they always go from shorter to longest. And that is because our natural eyelashes do that as well. We always have shorter lashes in the front and longer lashes towards the ends. So rule of thumb when you go in to trim and customize your lashes, you're going to want to make sure to trim from the end of the lash, which is the longest part of the hair. You never want to trim from the front. If you go ahead and trim from the front, when you apply these, they're going to look super choppy and unnatural and they're not gonna blend in with your natural hair. So now I'm gonna give the lash a little tiny trim and I'm using these little eyebrow scissors and I'm trimming from the end of the eyelash just about that much. And then I'm gonna give them a good bend. I like to do this because it's really gonna help it hug my eyelash perfectly and really sit on there easily. So now before I apply my lashes, I'm gonna go ahead and prep the eyes. So I'm gonna take my lash curler and I'm going to give my lashes a good curl. So now you're just gonna wanna take any mascara. I'm gonna be using the Essence Lash Princess. And I'm just gonna go ahead and coat my lower and upper lashes really, really well. All right, so now that we've done the prep work, we're ready to apply our lashes. Now, I personally like to use a tweezer to place my lashes. If you are a beginner, I would highly recommend you pick up a lash applicator tool. I don't have one on me at the moment, but you can find these anywhere. You can find them at the drugstore as well. And they just make it so that you apply your lashes safely, you know, without poking yourself or anything like that. Now, my favorite lash glue is actually the Duo brush tip. It's the one with the green font on it. I've been using it for years. I really, really love it. However, if you are someone with very sensitive eyes, I would probably go for a latex-free option. I know that Kiss actually makes a really, really great latex-free lash glue, so Definitely look into that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to open up my glue and I'm going to take whatever's on the brush and I'm literally just going to run this against the band. Now when you're doing this, you wanna make sure to saturate a really, really good amount of glue onto the band. You wanna make sure to get a really good amount on both the ends and the inner corners of the lash because those are the areas that tend to lift the most. Now, once you've applied the glue, you kind of want to let that sit for a little bit. You don't want to place it on directly after you put the glue on there because it's not going to hold well. You want the glue to get a little bit tacky so that when you apply the lash, it really grips on and it doesn't move. So what I'm going to do is literally place the middle of the lash to the middle of my lash line. Now I'm going to grab my tweezer and I'm going to take the end of the eyelash and apply it to the end of my lash line. And lastly, I'm going to adjust the inner corner. So that's pretty much it guys. So once everything is done and you've applied your lashes, you can go ahead and take either your gel liner or your liquid liner 
and just cover up the band with that to really get everything looking nice and seamless and you can kind of then manipulate your lashes if you kind of want to give them a extra curl it'll give them more of like a dull eyed look you can add more mascara if you want some more drama I probably wouldn't recommend you apply mascara directly to your false lashes because it's going to make them look a little bit too chunky and unrealistic. You want to keep them looking nice and fluffy. So if you are going to apply mascara, you want to make sure to just roll it against the root of your natural eyelash. But overall, that is pretty much it. All right, guys. So that was it for today's video. I hope you really learned something today and I hope you're able to apply these techniques at home and really achieve that perfect winged liner and really nail down that lash application. So take your time, have fun with it, practice, and you will get there. If you learned something today and you want to see more of these beginner friendly videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so you're notified when I upload a video. Also, make sure to give this video a huge, huge thumbs up. It really does help my channel and it lets me know that you are enjoying the content I am creating. Thank you guys as always for watching. I love you all so, so much and I'll see you on my next video.